You gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to fold them. Sometimes you just gotta walk away from a deal, folks. And this, this is one of those times. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, the show where I work with investors like you to help you invest in real estate, right? Today, I'm working with Paula. Paula, you are from Texas, and you found a deal that you dig, right? This property right here, 815 West 20th Street in Lorraine, 44052, listed at a cool 24 grand, right? But you got to know when to walk away, right? And I happen to know that you need to walk away from this deal already, right? I have some inside knowledge that you wouldn't have, right? You wanted to know if you could do a bird deal, right? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? You buy a cheap property. Uh, you fix it up, you put in a tenant, you bring in the lender, hopefully your acquisition costs as well as your renovation costs exceeds or uh, does not exceed your, your, your new repair value. I'm sorry, your new repair value exceeds your acquisition and renovation costs, right? You create some equity, right? But uh, this deal, which I understand why you targeted it, this deal would very much look like a deal that you could do that on, right? Because the price is only 24000 But look, it's been on the market 68 days, and this is by far one of the cheapest houses in the Cleveland market, by far one of the cheapest houses you can get, right? The situation is, and like I said, your boy Jay Wise I got some inside knowledge, right? That's why it helps to work with somebody who sold two hundred million dollars worth of real estate, folks. I kind of, I kind of know what's going on around town. You know what I'm saying? The situation with this one, right? We got some issues. There's only one photo, right? And it's priced at twenty four thousand. So we know, we know it's going to need a bunch of work, right? But I, I, this is it. This is all the agent has done for us. It's a vacant house. There's like no info. This is all they've given us, right? So. We don't really have the ability to try to, like, guesstimate on a bid. Sure, can my company usually rehab houses like this from top to bottom? Like, for under 50 k yeah, but, like, do we have issues with the basement? I don't know, things of that nature. Uh, but that could be, like, a starting point. But we're unable to get information from this agent. We're unable to do deals with this agent, right? This agent is actually working with an out-of-country investor, uh, to sell like a portfolio of properties in and around this area, right? And we've worked with them in the past or at least tried to. And uh, I mean, this doesn't make sense to a lot of people that are new to the business. Uh, but like you just can't get anything out of them. They don't uh, return emails. They don't return phone calls. They're just silent, right? I know that everybody out there who's watching, they see a property get put on the MLS. So like, oh, this set, this person's listed their property for 24 grand. They must be trying to do everything they possibly can to sell it for 24 grand. Their agent must be working as diligently hard as they possibly can to get this sold, right? That's probably what you think. Unfortunately, that folks is not the reality of investing in real estate. What you guys probably don't know is the real estate industry, it's kind of a mess, honestly. Uh Nationwide, nationwide, folks, we're looking at an average annual turnover rate of close to 90%. I think like last time NAR put out some stats, it was like 86, 88, something like that, right? So that means if you talk to 10 realtors this year, next year, nine of them ain't going to be realtors, okay? And folks, the ones that are, the really good ones, right, what do they do, right? They go where the money is. You know where the money's not? The money's not in listing $24,000 properties, right? So... You run into situations like where you get agents that are either incompetent, lazy, had a listing, don't feel like dealing with it anymore. Communication breakdowns breaks down with the owner. Maybe uh, the owner and this agent are no longer getting along, and they're just like they're done with it. They've walked away with it, right? That's essentially like where we are, right? Because we've tried reaching out to them. We've we've actually ended up sending in cash offers like at or above list price on some of the other listings by this particular agent. Uh, owned by this particular seller and like we pretty much get nothing right just days and days and weeks and weeks of trying to contact them contact them nothing back right so there's there's really no 
nothing for us to do on this, Paul. Like, there, there's no point to trying to uh, jump into this any further. You got no one to hold him. You got no one to fold him. There, there ain't nothing happening here, right? I don't know what happened. Is it pure incompetence by this agent? Is it a complete breakdown by the client? Sometimes clients disappear. That happens too, folks. You get a client who gets all gung-ho. They want to sell a property. You list it. You spend all that time and resources putting it on the market, fielding offers, and then you go back to your client, and the guy ghosts you. Uh, you know, it sucks, but that is part of the business, right? Things like that probably also uh, contribute to the 90% turnover rate, right? You get a few realtors in there, they do all this hard work, and then the prick fucking seller just, like, disappears on them, right? I mean, these are things that just happen, right? And that's that's really what I want to do with this show, and that's what my mission with the show and Holton Wise TV is. It, it, it's to bring this stuff to light, right? Because nobody likes to talk about it. It's almost like the dirty laundry of the real estate world, right? A lot of people wouldn't know things like that happen, but unfortunately, that is the situation with this. So no idea how much the rehab's going to cost. Pretty much no scenario where I can get any answers out of the seller. Highly doubt they'd accept your offer. They don't even respond to anything. I've, again, looked into it as in-depth as I possibly can. There's just, there's no deal here. Luckily, investing in real estate is a numbers game, so you know what we're going to do, Paula? We are going to move on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.